Now I've got to brag on this little meter here. This is the the Drock USB power meter and I find this thing is really handy. Now here is a battery that's being used to uh, provide USB power to uh, like a phone or a tablet, any of those devices that, that handle USB for powering and your phone goes down and then you plug this guy in and it'll recharge your phone. Well I want to be sure exactly how much capacity this power brick has here. So I plugged into the one amp outlet so it should have five volts in one amp. That goes through this meter. This meter has a load on it here. This load is two 10 ohm resistors and in parallel they make five ohms. Five ohms, five volts gives you one amp. So this should be a one amp draw at five volts. Well, here's what the meter tells you. The truth is that it's 4.9 volts and 0.94 amps. So it's not quite the five volts, but still that, that's pretty good. Okay, now that's the that's one readout of the meter. Now we can cycle through other types of readouts. The second one here, this one is the capacitance. This is the, the power that has been sent out of the battery already and that's 1.511 uh, amper hours or 1,511 milliampere hours. Okay. Uh, the next display here if we get to that one. That's just the straight power period and that's 4.59 watts and that's that's the current power that's being fed through there. Four point, it's not cumulative, that's just current status. It's 4.59 watts. Okay, the next one here gives us a volts and ampers and then the capacitance display. So it'll cycle between volts and ampers and the capacitance. So you can just sit there and it'll just cycle between those two. Uh, that's pretty slick. And then this next one here, this one is volts and ampers and power display. So it cycles between volts and ampers and power. So you see the volts and ampers and the, the current watts that are being burned. And this next one here, now this one is uh, the uh, capacitance plus power. So here's the 4.59 watts that's being burnt and here's a cumulative amount that's been burnt, 1.527 uh, ampere hours. Okay, And then finally the final bit is to do all of them together. So you've got uh, the volts and amperes plus the capacity plus the power display all of it together. So there's the capacity there's the power. If we cycle back to the volts and amperes again. So you, you can just choose what kind of display you want. It'll just keep going. That's a display I want to use most of the time. I want to see how many volts are coming out. I want to see what kind of amperage is coming out. But this little meter tells me stuff I never found out before. And I'm learning a lot about these batteries because you can't really trust a lot of these batteries, you know, they, you'll get some manufacturer who will tell you that you've got so much capacitance and you've got so much uh, support for this and that and the other, but you don't really know. And here, I know for a fact, because I've got a meter now that tells me, because I've got it configured to load this guy so I'll know how much power he's putting out, but I can also connect this up instead of this connected up to this guy, I can connect this up to a USB charge a USB charger and then that USB charger can be feeding to a different cable that plugs into this guy to charge him. So I can see how much power is going into this thing just like I am right now seeing the power going out. So wow, what a great meter, a great USB meter. I love the thing. Thumbs up.